My name is Slavi Mirno, founder of Robesius. This is the second video that I'm recording about uh, the solution how to restrict access to the WordPress uploads folder. I posted the article to Reddit and some users, Kabalos and Zwer, they shared some feedback and I reviewed my approach and it turns out that definitely have to use a WordPress plugin to have better protection over that uploads folder because a more experienced developer can pass that cookie and basically bypass the protection. I've released a free plugin. It's a system plugin that I've uh, linked into the article. It's called Orbisius WP Media Protector. It has multiple benefits and it uses the current approach but also extends it and builds on top of it. So this is the page. We see this uh, media protector and there is a link and it's available on GitHub. The HD access rules look a little bit different. I've removed the, the previous version had a host and had the HTTP and we don't want that nowadays. Some sites that they'll definitely have the HTTPS. So just having the relative link is going to work well. And if you have any issues or if you have any ideas, feel free to submit them here on github so let me show you uh, actually before i forget there's some additional benefits in addition to the checks that that plugin does is that when a document is requested uh, it hooks into the process and returns it as an attachment that way it will not open within the same browser and will be offered for download which is very convenient the the installation steps are that you have to download the plugin it's just one file and it needs to be added to just this file and it needs to be added to the WP content and new plugins. If that folder doesn't exist, then you can create it and when you and you can upload that file there. Files that are actually plugins that are saved in MU-plugins, those are called like system plugins. They don't need a special activation to, to work. And that's the first step. The second step is to update the HD access, which is here. I'll open it again. So this is how it looks like. There's a different variable that is being used right now. If you try to, to block the access to the uploads folder here, like using deny from all, this will block all access. It's not going to allow that code tool to work just so you know okay and the last step is to do the tests so here i'm logged in to that test site I'm logged in and let's access a file random file i've uploaded this one and i'm able to access it it's offered for as a download and let's try again with this one Okay, and let's log out. Log out. And let's try to access the file again. And we're redirected to the login page. And what about this image? Same thing. The image is not cached, which is good and makes the browser not store the file locally. That way we can always check if the user has the necessary access to that file. The other benefits of this plugin that can be improved is to check for the role at some point in the future and some additional cool stuff. That's about it. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.